bonus prize in this video is going to be my reviews on Vacancy and Garbage Night, which is the second book to Vacancy by Jen Lee. So you guys, these books that I'm going to be reviewing today are both graphic novels and I received both of them from No Browse Press and also Edelweiss in exchange for my review. And I gave, I'm going to talk about Vacancy first, which is the first book, and I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Now for this graphic novel, I really, 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 I enjoyed the storyline that went along with this graphic novel. It was just really cutesy, but I did not like the graphics. But the storyline was really fine. The storyline was really good, but the graphics weren't anything that was amazing to me, that stood out to me. They were just like, okay, there's pictures. You know, it was anything that I was like going crazy about. Oh my God, the graphics were amazing. They were just okay. You know, it was average. But the storyline, I really enjoyed now, if you don't know about what Vacancy is about, Vacancy is about this dog named Simon whose owner forgot about him and set in this post-apocalyptic world and he meets up with this raccoon and a deer and they're pretty much trying to survive in this post-apocalyptic world. They're wondering when the people are going to come back and where are the people. So it's really about, it's following animals. Animals are our main character. It's about them finding food, about them surviving and helping each other and you know in a post-apocalyptic world everyone is not together it's like everyone for themselves so it's these three newfound friends trying to keep themselves safe from any other you know rival gangs i'm gonna say <laughs> from attacking them i really liked how we sort of like mysteriously met the characters like he was like very mystic about them but at the same time, I still want to know more about them. Like, I still don't know them. Like, I don't know anything about them. I just wish I would have known more, like, where they came from, what's their story, what was their life before the post-apocalyptic scene, you know? And without that, I felt like I could not get emotionally invested in these characters because I don't know them. You know, you can't feel for somebody you don't know. And it's like, I don't know them, so I'm not really emotionally distraught for them. And then it's just something about this novel, and it's just something about this graphic novel that was just lacking for me. It, it wasn't the graphics, because you know you know that part of the graphics are if the graphics are amazing or if they're just and, eh. but it wasn't the graphics. But it just you know when you have that feeling like something isn't right, like something is off, but you can't just like you can't put your finger on it. That's the feeling I have about this novel. It's like something else is missing, but I just don't know what it is, and it's like eat me up. And it's irritating me and it's making me very frustrated because I don't know what it is that that is like, you know, what what are my spidey senses tingling for? Like, what is missing from this graphic novel that I'm not getting? What is it? It's like something else is missing. I just, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. Overall, like I said in the beginning, I think it's a very cutesy, you know, graphic novel. It's very cute, but at the same time, it's cutesy, but it's cutthroat because only the strong will survive. And I do still think it's worthy of a quick read. Because the storyline itself was good, but the graphics, I wouldn't, you know, throw my panties on stage for it. But the storyline, it was pretty great. I don't believe, if you read it, I don't believe that it will be give, that you'll be given a standing ovation, you will want an encore. But I do think that it's something very quick and it's interesting to read about. Especially when you just want something short, but simple and to the point, not too complex, you know. Just something like real easy to read, real quick to get through. That's that's where this will come in. That's where you would appreciate this more than if you're just, oh yeah, I think this is going to be, you know, one of our favorites this year. Because it's very cute, but it's like I said, something was missing. I don't know the characters that well. The graphics weren't all that, but the storyline was pretty good. But something is missing. I just can't put my finger on it. Okay, so on to Garbage Night, which is the second book to Vacancy. And it really contains the story of this newfound friendship between this dog and raccoon and deer, which is weird by itself, but we're talking about a graphic novel here. Um, and Garbage Night, I really, really like the graphics way more than in Vacancy, but the storyline was lacking in Garbage Night than in Vacancy. So it's like they switched up. And they can see the storyline was good, but the graphics weren't good. And now in Garbage Night, 
the graphics are great, but the storyline is not there. So maybe if we took the graphics from Garbage Night and put it into, into the storyline with Vacancy, then we would have maybe a five star thing here. But I only gave I only gave this one two stars just because of that. Because you y'all know, even with a graphic novel, the graphic could be amazing, but if there is not a storyline here captivating me, I'm not going to give it that great rating that you might want. I seriously felt like the storyline needed to go through more development action-wise to really capture me in because I did feel like it was boring. It didn't have anything really jacking me into the story to make me like really be like eyes bulging out. So it definitely needed some more action put in it or just to tweak the action pack scenes that they had to make it a little bit more intense. Maybe then that would have really captured me in and had me running with it. Again, I wish I knew more about the characters. We're on book two and I still don't know anything about them at the end of book two. So we need more character development here because I don't know anything about these. these I don't know anything about this dog. What was his past life like with his owners, you know? Um, I don't know anything about this deer. I don't know anything about this raccoon. How'd they meet up to begin with, you know? So it's like, I don't know anything about these characters at the end of book two. That's the problem for me. I just don't know you guys like that. Like Again, like I said, the art was really good. The art was really cute and it had a real laid back effect to it that just kind of relaxes you when you're looking at it. It wasn't anything gruesome. It was just really relaxing. The colors that the artist decided to use, it was just really, you know, relaxing to read it. But it's just maybe if the storyline was more up to par, if the storyline was more on point, on point, then maybe I would have enjoyed it better. Seeing that the graphics I liked, if the story would have been better and more captivating for me, then we could have had something here. And because I don't think that the storyline is up to par, I would not recommend this book. Like, you can read the first one, but just stop it there. I wouldn't recommend this second one. I wouldn't. And I don't see myself continuing on with the series just because my st the storyline was just lacking in this one. So I wouldn't recommend Garbage Night, but I would recommend Vacancy. That is the end to my reviews for these two graphic novels by Jen Lee. I will link my reviews that I did on my blog down below in the description box, and I will also link the Goodreads page to both of these novels. If you guys want to go check it out and give it a peek, I will link it down in the description box as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!